Hey everyone, it's Scott here from Can Geek, and today we're talking Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, I've got to let everybody know up front, there will be zero spoilers in this video, so don't be apprehensive about watching on. Uh, I can promise you that having got screwed earlier this week by some internet tro who had seen Star Wars Thursday night, and let out a very big spoiler that I was made aware of. Um, I would not do that to you guys. It's just not right. As a fan, I was offended by this person. So I promise you guys there will be zero spoilers in this video. Now, having said that, first and foremost, I need to say thank you. Thank you, J.J. Abrams. Thank you, Disney. And anyone who's watching this video who knows me personally knows that that is a lot for me to say. It's kind of difficult for me to say, actually. And here's why. When Disney acquired the Star Wars intellectual property from George Lucas, I was extremely apprehensive. I was apprehensive that Disney's multi-billion dollar marketing machine was going to take a much beloved franchise and drive it directly into the dirt. When I heard that J.J. Abrams was directing the first Disney Star Wars film, I was even more uncomfortable. In my opinion, J.J. Abrams destroyed the Star Trek reboot, and that fact alone made me very, very uncomfortable about him directing a Star Wars movie. I have to tell you guys up front, J.J. Abrams did an amazing job directing Episode 7. He did the movie justice. Disney and Disney's writers did an outstanding job with the story for Episode 7. The Force Awakens is the Star Wars movie that the fans have deserved for years. It is what the prequels should have been. The acting was phenomenal in this movie. Starting with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher. It was as if they had never walked away from these roles. It was perfect. It was spot on. Adam Driver as Kylo Ren. Amazing. Adam Driver is the quintessential replacement, in my opinion, to Darth Vader. Outstanding performance by him. Daisy Ridley and John Boyega. Amazing, amazing performances by them. What Disney has succeeded in doing with Episode 7 is paying service to long-term Star Wars fans while setting up a situation where new fans to the series and fans for years to come will be able to jump in and just enjoy the stories that will come down the road after Episode 7. One more thing I have to say. For months and months and months, everyone wanted to know why Mark Hamill did not appear on the poster for Episode 7. Again, no spoilers being given away. It makes sense. Once you see Episode 7, you will understand why Luke is not on that poster. Made 110% perfect sense. Now, having said that, we are going to talk about one thing, and again, no spoilers here at all. I will be uploading a video sometime in the next couple of days that I invite you guys to come back and watch. It will be a spoiler intense video. Once you have seen episode 7, come back and watch it. I'm going to discuss what my personal theories as a fan are for where episode 8 will go and how certain characters are going to develop as a result of the events that take place in episode 7. And I would love for you guys to come back and let me know whether you agree or disagree with me and my theories 
once you have seen episode 7 yourself. But guys, I've got to caution you again. Don't get caught into the trap I got caught in. Don't read too much about episode 7 online. Unfortunately, I got bit on Thursday night quite accidentally by some internet troll that thought it would be amusing to uh, take a picture while he was in the movie theater where he was seeing the movie and tell everybody exactly what happened in that scene and it was a pretty important scene in the movie and that one piece of information going into the movie was enough to water the story down significantly for me. So be very careful about what you read online prior to seeing episode 7. As a fan, as a nobody, I'm an average guy, I'm not a celebrity obviously, as a guy running a YouTube channel and a Facebook community page who makes no money off of an endorsement, as a fan I'm going to tell you guys, Star Wars Episode 7 is a 5 star movie. It is absolutely worth seeing. It is absolutely worth seeing in theaters. So don't pirate it. Don't bootleg it. Go see it in its proper environment. And it's actually worth seeing multiple times. I got a buddy who went to see it this afternoon. And he informed me after seeing it that he's already bought tickets to see it two more times in the next week and a half. And after having seen it at seven o'clock last night myself I can understand why he's gonna go see it again and again apparently by the way just a little piece of information apparently Star Wars Episode 7 is expected to bring in a profit of 246 to 254 million dollars internationally this weekend which will make it the box office leader for opening weekend movies and that just speaks to the power of this franchise so again five out of five stars absolutely worth watching absolutely worth watching more than once in theaters and really guys don't rob yourselves of that get out and see this movie over the holidays get out and see it once twice five times it's absolutely worth it so check back in a couple days as I said that spoiler video will go up I hope you guys have seen the movie by that point and let me know if you agree with my theories or not and in the comments when you do see that spoiler video tell me if you have theories of your own as a fan I would love to hear what you guys are thinking so that's it um, happy holidays Go see episode 7, enjoy it, and thanks for watching.